love the front grill on this. Hey guys, Jason with Wolf Overland and today I'm leading a trail run up Hurricane Creek. But we're first going to do the Fines Creek extension that leads to an old lead mine. So we got a bunch of people here who um, some have never wheeled before, some have wheeled, but either way we're going to have a good time here. Let's uh, get going. We are on the Fines Creek Road and we are airing down the tires. The red beast. Another gladiator. I love the front grill on that. Yeah. Their motorsports and chicken South Carolina makes the aftermarket. So. Okay, so it's fenders and everything. No, that's gin right. Okay. Yeah. So it's just a hood and grill. That's cool. We actually got a tracker with this that's modified for this. He's got the same air down technique that I use. We got a Sequoia. I think that's a Sequoia. Yep. Another Zuzu Trooper. You don't see too many of those anymore. And we got a, another Dodge Ram. So Fines Creek starts out as a gravel road and then you just Hold up, I gotta back up a little bit. I always miss that turn. Anyway, Fines Creek starts out as a gravel road, and then once you make that right before it dead ends, it's like the first right before it dead ends, it starts to turn into something a little bit more fun and technical and leads up to that old coal, uh, leads up to that old lead mine. So you do have some private property on both sides. Charlotte, what are you eating, girl? I'm just rolling it to a uh, four low just to cruise on in. So the creek kind of flows down this trail. We got the power line up there, and there's actually an old homestead up there where. Um, uh, there's still a fireplace up there at that old homestead. That's what's really cool about this area. The creek kind of diverts back to the left up here. That's that stick. Yeah, so you can take a path to the left and the entrance to the mine is right there. It's an old lead mine from the 1800s. I think they quit doing it in... Uh, I want to say it's uh, 1970s is when they quit doing it because then
Yeah, is that it? Nothing for you. That A track. There you go. Got it. Turn this way. Turn towards me. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Now I'll probably get back over that way. Fines Creek section it takes about an hour to run so from um, from the gas station to the end of the Fines Creek section is about an hour depending on how long you stay at the old mining facility and then from here we're gonna jump on 40 to the rest stop stop and regroup at the rest stop and then be on our way here we are at the cabins in the old farm homestead. We've got a beautiful creek with the rope swing flowing here. Beautiful country here. You've been here before, Shar? Yeah, with you. A long time. All right, first water crossing at Hurricane Creek. So we stopped for lunch at one of our favorite campsites. Charlotte, what are you eating? 
spaghetti spaghetti and I hate it. You hate you hate spaghettios? Yeah. My daddy told me to eat it and I don't like it. Yeah. Let's cook that up on the jet boil. No, there's bugs in there. And there's the old school bus. And that's what starts the first of the hard obstacles. Hold on, Shark. I'm glad you packed some extra clothes, huh? This section right here is extremely pretty. You got the rock wall on your left and beautiful water on your right. A couple of waterfalls. Okay, uh, you're good. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, that way a little bit. Okay, you're good. And then you're gonna come up this rock right here. Whoops, I didn't get a very good view. There you go. All right, turn that way. Yeah, you're good. All right. Hope it's recording. Yeah, it is. All right, we're good. So right here is the hardest obstacle on Hurricane Creek. I've seen it in my other videos, but getting a power wagon over it should be easy because I don't know the wheel, the length and the wheelbase, and it flexes. So it's the smaller vehicles I'm kind of worried about. Let's see what we got. Forerunner, Forerunner went down. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, last year. Yeah. 
It's starting to get, like, it's worse than it was last year. It used to be built up pretty good. Red Beast Wagon. He takes the most obnoxious line. Oh, he's got the flex. Piece of cake. This is the worst part. Like it used to not be this bad. Like it, it was like kind of pretty much filled in. It's just gotten. I don't know if the water run off or what. But he's gonna. I don't know how he's gonna do it. Man, that. That approach angle is nice. Don't worry about the night <laughs> on. You got it. Easy peasy. Go slow. Stay passenger. All right. You're good. Hey, hold on. Holding on to that door. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, this definitely dug out a lot more than last time. Yeah. You good? You got it, man. Uh, just Shelby, and he's got it. It's just Shelby. It's just Shelby. He's got it. He wheels. He, he rock bounces. From the top of Hurricane Creek, we hung a left and drove the short 15-20 minutes up to the top of Max Patch. Max Patch is a cleared mountaintop, part of the Appalachian Trail, and is a very pretty point of reference with 360 degree views. What do you think of that, Charlotte? Do you want to go ride some horses sometime? Is that pretty? Yeah. Oh, he's sucking you out. You like that one? Road. Do you go to Cassia? Cassia? 
All right, so that is it for our day trip to Hurricane Creek. It would be nice to camp and all that, but it is already 4.17. And, and Daddy was making it in the front. Ba, ba, ba. So anyway, um, so we started at 10 o'clock, ran Hurricane Creek, stopped for lunch, went up to Max Patch, walked all the way up to Max Patch, came down here, aired up right at I-40, and we are crawling it a day, 417. So a 10 to 4, you can make it work. And this is right on the Tennessee line, so we have two hours and 30 minutes to get home. So be home by 7 o'clock. And I think we left at 7. Yeah, we left at 7, right? 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so we left at 7. So 12 hour day. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.